Hey guys, it's Sarah. All right, <laughs> we're gonna do this. I am going to be having a ton of book hauls coming up. The reason is I'm just buying books and I don't give a crap. And I do this every year. At the end of the year, I just go crazy buying books and it's just, it's insane. But I have a few different categories that I can break this up into because I didn't wanna just show you like one big, huge book haul, it would take forever. So I'm gonna break it up into different categories. I have specific categories I can break them up to is easily. So this is the first one and it is a Goodwill haul. These are all the books that I have accumulated from Goodwill in probably the past month. And it's a lot. People are being very generous <laughs> with their Goodwill donations lately and I have been taking advantage of it. I have 17 books that I've gotten at Goodwill. They are all legitimately books I'm interested in. They are all legitimately books I have heard of and have been on my radar to read. And it just has so happened that they were there. Okay, let's get started. All right, the first one I have is Animal Farm by George Orwell. I also have 1984 in this kind of like, it's a Signet Classics edition, and I've never read Animal Farm before, so I figured I would go ahead and give this a try. It's super duper short, super, super duper. So I'll definitely read this for like a readathon or something for something really short. But yeah, it was there, so I figured I'd give it a try. I also found um, The Streets of Laredo by Larry McMurtry. I have the hardest time saying his last name. I think it's McMurtry. McMurtry, I think. I'm gonna have to see if I can find it. Um, this is the sequel to Lonesome Dove, which I own. I actually own a copy that matches this one. And so when I saw this, I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. I looked it up to make sure it was the sequel and it is. Um, and I am planning to read Lonesome Dove in January, over January and February with a read along group. We're gonna be reading that. So I figure, you know, if I love that one so much, which I'm expecting to, that I would be ready to go into this one. It's a lot shorter than Lonesome Dove, but this is one of my mom's favorite book series. She loves Lonesome Dove. It's one of her favorite books of all time. And I think she's read all of them. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab it since it matched my other one. Next one was a nice surprise. This is a book that was really highly acclaimed, but then it went out of print and now it's coming back into print and everyone's losing their minds about it and grabbing their own copies. And I found this at Goodwill, so I figured I'd go ahead and do that too, but it's been on my radar to pick up since it has been out of print for so long and now they are re-releasing it. And I found this really pretty edition of it. So this is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty with all the flowers and stuff? They did have um, another one that I had my eye on, which was like an all yellow cover, and it was just, there was no dust jacket on it, but it was a hardback, and it had a picture of a castle in the middle, and it was like lots of yellows and greens and stuff, but I really like this one a lot too, so I just went ahead and grabbed this one because it was a dollar fifty. so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take what I can, and yeah, so I'm interested to read this. It's considered kind of like, a lot of people consider it a classic, so I guess we'll see what it's... Um, all about. I'm not even a thousand percent sure what it's about, so I don't want to give a wrong synopsis, but it's been very, people have been very excited that it's coming back in print, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab a copy for myself. Okay, I lied to you a little bit. I told you that these were all books that I have heard of. This one I hadn't heard of before I found it, but I did go ahead and look it up on Goodreads. I read the back and it sounded interesting, so I looked it up on Goodreads to see what the reviews were and it got pretty high ratings. It was like a 3.9 rating on Goodreads and that's pretty good. So I ended up getting The Miracle Life of Edgar Mint and this is by Brady Udall. This is a cover by. I love the cover. I love the color. That mint green is one of my favorite colors. The spine is pretty nice too. So it was definitely like a cover by more than anything but I did look it up on Goodreads like I said and it has pretty decent ratings so I figured I would go ahead and give it a try. This follows a young boy named Edgar Mint and he starts his life on an Indian reservation but then he has some sort of accident which causes him to go into the hospital for a long time and he is actually kind of from there orphaned and kind of uh misplaced but well, not misplaced but he goes from different places you know he starts at an Indian reservation and then he goes to a group home and then he goes to a Mormon family foster care home and you know all the sorts of stuff so you're kind of following him throughout his little journeys and the people that he's living with and stuff so I'm excited we'll see how it is okay this next one I have heard of and that is Nemesis and this is by Brendan Ricks Rikes 
I think, Rikes, maybe. I believe he's the son of Kathy Rikes, who wrote the uh, book series that the show Bones is based on. I'm pretty sure this is her son. And this is like a science fiction type of book. That's all I really know. I kind of want to go into it a little bit blind, but I know that it's science fiction and there's like kind of a love story in there too. And I've just, I've seen this going around a whole lot. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab it while I could. Okay guys, this next one. <laughs> this one I've been interested in. I have seen a few people read it. It's definitely a big project of a read and it's supposed to be one of those like very strange books, but it's good to have that experience to read it. Kind of like a cult classic thing, I guess you could say. But that's House of Leaves. This is by Mark D. Danielski. Danielski? I hope I said that right. This is supposed to be a very, very strange book about a house, like literally. And the way that it's written is very interesting. So it has lots of like one word pages and lots of transcript type things. As you can see, like there's some weird stuff going on, but it's supposed to be like really like just a very interesting read and very creepy from what I hear as well. So super cheap, went ahead and picked up a copy, but this would be definitely like one of those special project type of reads. This next one is book number two in a series that I have not started yet, but I have the first one and this one matches my first one. So I figured, okay, Beautiful Darkness. <laughs> this is written by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This is a young adult paranormal series and they made a movie out of the first one, which is called Beautiful Creatures. I have not read the first one. I haven't seen the movie. I don't plan to see the movie, but I'm interested in reading the book just to see what it's all about. And then I grabbed this one too, since it was so cheap at Goodwill and it matches my first one. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like this series or not. It has very love it or hate it type of things. I've seen a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. I'm curious to see where I fall on that side of things, but now I have the first two, so I really should get <laughs> to these <laughs> so that I can know and know if I wanna collect the whole series or not, or if I want to read the first two and get rid of them, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I figured, cheap, get it. Next one I found is actually an arc <laughs> of a book that I really want to read, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and that's Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. This is perfect. Like, I don't even know if anyone read this or not. I'm sure they probably did, but like, there's nothing wrong with this. And like I said, it's an arc copy, um, but that doesn't bother me. And this is a historical fiction, and it's kind of like an alternate take on Hitler, where actually Hitler wins the war in Germany, and this follows a girl, I think she's related to him somehow, I wanna say maybe his niece or something, but she ends up entering this motorcycle race that is a big thing back then, and she is trying to win it in order to get close to Hitler so she can kill him. So that's all I know. I've heard rave things about this book. There's a, It's a duology. There's another one called Blood for Blood that I'm keeping my eye out for. But yep, so. I found the first one super cheap. This one is book number three in a series that I have the first two books. I have not started them yet, but I found the third one for really cheap. And it's actually a Christian fiction series. And the first two were sent to me by my friend Patrice. And she just so generously said, you know, this is a series I really enjoy. I hope you enjoy them too. So I have the first two from her and then I found this one. And this is River's Edge by Terry Blackstock. And it's called the Cape Refuge series. So I have book number three. I think there's at least four. I don't know if there's a fifth one or not, but I know there's at least four. So I found book number three so I can add it to my shelf. Okay, this next one is another case of I bought the second book in a series without realizing it. All right, uh, The Favorite Child by Philippa Gregory. And this is book number two in the Wild Acre. Yeah, Wild Acre trilogy. Whoops, it's fine. Uh, my library has Wild Acre. I double checked, so I'll probably get the first one from the library and then read this one and see. This series does not get great reviews, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like them or not. I This is like Philippa Gregory, and I got it because I'm interested in her as an author and seeing what she has, and I'm kind of slowly collecting some of her stuff. And it's not going to be the same as her like Tudor series or anything like that. It's I think it's not based on real people. But, yeah, so... I grabbed it. This next one I was really excited to see. This is one that's been on my radar for a while and that is Slade House by David Mitchell. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. It's so pretty. 
it is so gorgeous. Like this is a gorgeous edition of this book. This is again really small, but I've heard very, very good things about this and about um, David Mitchell as a writer in general, but I've heard very good things about this book. So I was happy to grab it and it's super short. Um, but yeah, this is just so pretty and I snatched it right up. This next one is a book that I have heard of and I've heard really good things about it. This is also being turned into a movie. I don't know if it's out yet or not. I don't think it is. Um, but that is The Girl with All the Gifts and this is by M.R. Carey. And I believe this follows a young girl who has some sort of handicap and she is being used because of that somehow. That's all I know. <laughs> some sort of abilities or something. And uh, yeah, so I figured I'd give it a try. It's been pretty popular and it's a really good copy of a nice book. Okay guys, I got a trilogy. I got a trilogy. And I saw this trilogy <laughs> and I went, ooh, I loved that mini series when it was on TV in the 80s. It was a miniseries in the 80s, and I watched it over and over and over again, and I loved it. It's a historical fiction following the Civil War. It follows two men who meet at their kind of military camp type thing, like their military training. They bond. They become really close, and then they find themselves on opposite sides of the Civil War. One is from the South, and one is from the North. Therefore, it is called North and South. Okay, so I found this trilogy. <laughs> And I called my mom and I knew she had read them and I knew she had watched the miniseries as well. She watched it with us. And I basically wanted like confirmation that the books were worth reading, even if you've already seen the miniseries. And she said, absolutely. She loved these books. She thought the books were better than the miniseries. There's obviously so much more detail in the books. <sighs> so I got them. They don't even look like they've been read. <laughs> they are so perfect. So I got the entire trilogy. Look how pretty those are. Oh, they're going to look so nice. All right. The first one is called North and South. And these are by John Jakes. The second one is called Love and War. And the third one is called Heaven and Hell. And like I said, this was a mini series back in the 80s. It was Patrick Swayze and Kyle. Um, oh, shoot. What's his name? The guy from Friday Night Lights. And um, Bloodline Kyle. <laughs> I don't remember his last name. It's escaping me right now. Um, he was in it too. And uh, just quite a few people that you would probably recognize today were in that um, mini series. And it was just so good. I absolutely loved it. And I've watched it as an adult too. And I still loved it. So I got the books. These are going to be an undertaking because they are extremely long. But I'm really interested in reading them and kind of revisiting all that and actually reading what the original stories were that made that mini series. So I would probably do something where I read the trilogy and then watch the mini series and maybe do a comparison video. I think that'd be very interesting. So that's something I'm going to keep in my mind. But again, this would be a big undertaking, but I'm excited. All right, speaking of series, I found a bind up of the first two books of a series that I've been very, very interested in reading. And it's something that would be very different for me, but I'm very interested in it. And that is the Aragon series. So this book is a series that follows dragons, like dragons are the main character. So this is the bind up of the first two books, Aragon and Eldest. And I just really like that bind up. Look how pretty the drawings are on them. I just love it. It's very thick. Obviously, it's the first two books. But yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and grab this. It was super cheap. It's two books in one. And then if I like it, I can continue on with the series. Maybe if there's another bind up of the next two books. I did find two other books in this series at Goodwill the last time I went, but I just wasn't sure. It didn't match this, number one. So I want to see if I can find another bind up that would match this if I do continue on with it. And number two, I'm just not sure how I'm going to react to it. So I don't, I didn't want to buy like more until I read these first two and see what I think, or at least the first one. But yeah, so I figured it's really cool. I really like the covers of it and dragons. All right, this next one is another book that is an arc and another book that sounds like it's gonna be just a very different type of read, but I'm interested, and that's The Bees. And this is by Laylene Paul, I believe. I, I think that bees are literally the main characters in here, like bees, like legit real bees. So, I don't know. I've seen it going around. I thought it sounded kind of interesting. Definitely something that's different. I like the cover of it. 
and it was cheap. All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the books that I bought from Goodwill over the past month. And I'm not going to Goodwill anymore this year. <laughs> I actually just made my last trip this morning. And the reason for that is that my girls are about to be on their Christmas holiday. And I don't take them to Goodwill because they do not sit nicely while I look through books. Because it takes me a while to go through the shelves. So I do not take them with me when I go. Because they're about to be on break, I'm not going to be able to go again until January. So I figured that I would just go ahead and go now. Let it be the last trip of the year. See what I have. And I got a few books this morning and I'm done with Goodwill for 2017. I will not be going again until, like I said, at least January. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.